on to me, Paul? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm having recorder issues. Okay, there we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Agent Mastermind class for today. We are here with our fearless leader, our good friend, Mr. Scotty Hudspeth. Scotty, how goes it today? Woo. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Agent Mastermind. Everybody, this is Scott Hudspeth, your host, and I'm here with uh, a dear friend of mine, Paul Baxter. How you doing, brother? You know, it's another beautiful day in paradise. I cannot complain for sure. Tomorrow, I'm going to find out exactly what you're talking about. Can't wait to see you, man. And also, awesome. we have on the call with us my dear friend out of, uh, God, is it Arizona? Really? Scottsdale, Arizona, baby. Scottsdale, Arizona. Daryl Palmer, how you doing, brother? I'm doing great. I'm in shorts. What good? I say that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Daryl was just muted, so we'll mute Daryl and uh, moving on. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a video I'm going to play with you guys. Kind of set the stage for... What we're going to share with you today, we have an awesome class. Daryl's on the call. i got a short video to share with you, the video mindset, and uh, we'll go from there. So one minute and 28 seconds is an awesome video, I think, that sets the stage for us. So here we go. One second here. Here are some interesting facts about YouTube. YouTube exceeds 2 billion views a day, nearly double the primetime audience of all three major U.S. broadcast networks combined. There is 24 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every minute. The average person spends 15 minutes per day on YouTube. More video is uploaded to YouTube in 60 days than all three of the major U.S. networks created in 60 years. Partner ad revenue more than tripled in 2009. YouTube is monetizing over 1 billion videos per week globally. The number of advertisers using display ads on YouTube increased tenfold in the past year. Over three million people are connected and auto-sharing to at least one social network. And the videos consumed across social networks? This is where it starts to get really interesting. Facebook has the equivalent of 46.2 years of video watched every day. MySpace 5.6 years of video watched every day. Orcut, 12.7 years of video watched every day. And High Five, 1.2 years of videos watched every day. Okay, as you guys can see, this is no joke. So what what an insane number, Daryl. What do you think about that, brother? And that, and that number has, I think, doubled from what it was even last year's stat. Crazy. I, 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 yeah, I really think it has. So I'm going to show you a real quick clip of Daryl's. Uh, this is, um, you know what, I'm, I'm going to save it. It's about five minutes. So I want to get into the presentation here, Daryl, and then we'll share that with him here in just a minute. So I'm here first off, again, welcome to Agent Mastermind. And I'm your host, Scott Hutzbeck. We're going to share with you guys today uh, video marketing. But first, if you're, not, if you're joining us for the first time and you want to hang out with us, we're almost at 4,000. Uh, it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Agent Mastermind. So that is a place where you can ask anything you wish. Just please don't. Uh, it's not about putting your listings up there. It's about getting educated on what's going on in the marketplace, marketing tools, systems, and strategies. If you got a question, somebody's going to answer it. And I've I've seen threads go 50, 55, 60 people deep as far as uh, interacting engagement. So I really appreciate everybody interacting, engaging on there. Second, last week. We had an agent with me, specifically in my office. On, uh, she took her business from 35% referrals to 98% referrals using send out cards. If you would like a copy of this recording and um, the PowerPoint, contact the loan professional that sent you to this, this uh, class of Agent Mastermind, and they will be happy to get that for you. So that was a great class, huge turnout last week. I appreciate everybody on that, and there's a lot of response and a lot of people doing good stuff with that. So today, my favorite topic times 10, and I know it's Daryl's too. We've had so much fun with video marketing. I want to talk a little bit about the, um, the favorite software before I get into video, but a couple things I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Gene Project, Animoto, YouTube, youtube.com slash editor, and then fiverr.com for doing your editing of your videos. So we talked about a video plan. We talked about a bunch of stuff on the on the uh, email invite. So first off, I want to talk about the perception pyramid. And I found this last night, and I thought it was a really good example of where the typical business owner is. And, and it has to do with our mind. 
what do we think? Like, what do we really truly think we are? What do we believe we are? What do we believe we can get to in our business? A lot of people, I don't think half of us on this phone or even all of us on this phone have no idea what we're capable of. And so I'm going to ask you to think big on this. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to think outside the box when it comes to doing video marketing. So, of course, what we say is a huge importance in our business, and I'm going to show you how to say it to the world using video marketing. What we do, obviously, how we do these videos is going to be very, very important, and how we are perceived. So that takes me to my next little slide here. How do you see yourself when you wake up in the morning? You know, do you see yourself as the superstar, as the rock star agent, as somebody that can literally own your town? That is a great graphic, Scotty. I love that. Is, <laughs> that's awesome. That? Yes, because that, yeah. that speaks to your point so vividly right there. How do you perceive yourself, a lion or a to, wet yeah. cat? How you perceive yourself is how other people see you. So here's my other question. How do your clients see you? as an expert or the same as everybody else, so just a commodity. We put that in the email. I thought maybe it's a little aggressive. I didn't want to upset anybody, but if you're not different in some way, shape, or form, if you're not perceived in a different light than other real estate agents, then you are just like everybody else. So I'm going to show you how to literally separate yourself from the pack like times 10 because Guys, there's no competition. Mike brought this up. He's on the call right now. He brought this up. The, the, the only people in business that are really killing it with video marketing are, I hate to say it, car salesmen. Those guys, like, they, they literally are on the news all the time with, you know, car sales. So you have an opportunity here. The next time, and, and, and I'm going to start, Daryl, you'll, you'll appreciate this one. I'm going to start with the mindset of video marketing and why I think this is so, so valuable. So the next time you use your toaster, unless you don't want to think about me the next time you use your toaster, you might want to turn this off, okay? So I did a video. I was down in Florida, believe it or not, Paul, over in Cocoa Beach. And my mother-in-law says to me, she says, hey, if you want warm buns, just put them on the toaster. I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, well, the grills are like, not hot anymore, so just put the buns on top of the toaster, push the toaster down, and within a couple minutes you have warm buns. Now, when you go, there's just so many different things with the mindset of this video, right? I wasn't selling real estate. I wasn't telling people to buy or sell a home. I wasn't educating them on the sale process. I was literally getting into their personal lives subliminally by giving a little tip. Now, any, anytime anybody goes near the toaster and they're having hot dogs or they use the toaster and they see my video, who are they going to think about? They're going to think about me because I gave them a tip on how to warm their buns. Now, if they ever warm their buns, they're going to share this with their friends, family, and coworkers if they're having a party. Hey, just put them on the toaster. Warm it that way. Now, I, probably everybody on this call has heard that, but the mindset of video marketing is not to sell real estate, to have people call you to buy real estate, it's to engage and interact and get go deep with the relationships that already know, like, and trust you so that they forward it to your friends, to their friends, family, and coworkers. Does that make sense, Dale? Yeah. Look at you got 601 views for toasting your butt. That's for amazing. toasting my buns. <laughs> I know. 601. We call that marketing equity because, like, when you throw something out, when you throw a video out there, you just never know who's going to come across it. I had no idea that I was going to get 600 views on that. It's insane, right? This is the first time I've ever talked about it. I only sent it to my database of about 1,600 people. So that's almost half of the people opened my video and watched it, right? Pretty crazy. So you guys, if anybody, in fact, who didn't watch the Oscars on Sunday, probably everybody on this call or almost everybody, you've probably seen this picture. I don't know if you know this, but Ellen broke Twitter because of this picture. She asked everybody to retweet this picture. It literally shut down Twitter for like 30 minutes, Eric. I don't know if it was true or not, but 30 minutes. This, so, what, 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 was it 30 minutes? Yeah, or more. Yeah. Or more. So yeah. why, why, is it, why is it that we are so fascinated with these people? Somebody that we've never met. I've never met Alan. I've never, um, maybe a couple of you on this call have met one or two of these people, but 
we are so fascinated by anybody that's on TV or on video, right? Like there's the like Justin Bieber made his stardom by YouTube video. Somebody seen him and said, "Ooh, he's you know he's great, whatever." So why video? Because the perception is they see you on a different level. Okay. The other thing with video that I love the most is, for the most part, people are not in a good mood. It's, they're just not happy, for the most part. Most, right? At their job, whatever it is. They got some personal problems, whatever it is. You have an opportunity with a video to make someone smile, make someone laugh, be a part of their life, change for one second in their day, be a ray of sunshine, which I think is so, so cool that we have that opportunity. You, I cannot tell you, and Daryl, you can probably, you have more fans than I do on this. When you make somebody laugh, they look forward to getting your emails. They look forward to your next videos. It's the one time in their week, because I sent one out once a week, it's the one time in their week that they get to sit back, forget about everything, and just watch a stupid video for the most part that has something to do with the tip of the week video. Do you agree with that, Daryl? Yes. I missed my Either video last sunshine. week. I had two people, two people bust me on it this, that, yesterday, it's Monday. They're like, hey, I didn't get your video this week. I'm like, really? You're watching? <laughs> yeah, I, and uh, I know. It, isn't that funny? So when you do yeah. it religiously every single week, week after week after week, for a period of years, and you don't send a video, people call you to make sure that you're okay. That's, that That's becomes kind of cool. part of your brand, absolutely. It it's that consistent they, it consistency, are. and they get to know you based on they see it. It's that first step is you, you're you different than everybody else, and then they get used to seeing you as different than everybody else. And when they don't get that opportunity, they're like, hey, where did my different guy go? Right on, right on. Right on. So when you have the opportunity to be a ray of sunshine, when you have the opportunity to like send it out there, here's the, here's the cool part about this. When you send this video out, whatever video, and I'm going to give you a bunch of ideas about videos, the, the, the chance that it's going to get forwarded, especially if it makes somebody smile or laugh, is, is very high. It's so easy to go reply or forward and forward it to 10, 15, 20 people, right? It's so easy to take it on Facebook and share it, like it, so other people are aware of what you're doing. It's just it's so powerful, I can't, I can't tell you. So we're going to get into some ideas. Here's one that we did that literally I still have people talking about. Paul, did you see this one? This was one, the Olympics one. <laughs> this was the Olympics one. So back in 2012, the uh, Summer Olympics, Vicky comes into our office. I mean, we, Mike and I get a little crazy with our videos, but we like to make people laugh. We like to make people remember who we are and what we do for a living, so they'll forward it to their friends, family, and coworkers. That's really the whole thing. So <laughs> Vicky comes in and says, Hey, are you guys gonna like? Are you guys going to the Olympics? And we look at each other like, oh crap, we we haven't trained. So we go out, and we start training, we get our headbands, we start doing stupid stuff. If you haven't seen the video, it's pretty good. But 180 views on that. We got more calls on that than any other video we've ever done, just because they wanted to say how how hard they laughed. I just got a I just got a text the other day by one of my friends that says I watched your Olympic video, unbelievably hilarious. So get out of your comfort zone, have fun, be crazy. People remember that stuff, but more importantly, they forward it, okay? Here's the best part about doing video marketing is you can be the local celebrity, seriously. I mean, think about the weatherman. If you see the weatherman, you're like, oh, man, hey, that's, that's that guy on the Channel 3 News or Channel 8 News. or that, that, I mean, like, that's a big deal, right? Like, he's something special, and all he does is talk about the weather, right? I mean, he's, he's human. So here's the thing is you, yes you, have the opportunity to have the same effect in your industry in real estate, okay? All right, so video plan. We talked about that in the invite. Here's the, here's the plan. You have to time block. I used to do it every single Wednesday. Now we do it just whenever we have a good idea, which is a lot. And so you have to time block a time to do this. I can't, I can't stress how important this is. You can't let anything get in the way because this could mean the difference between getting a purchase or refi from your past clients or current clients or not getting one, which, I don't know, put a number on that. 
could be anywhere from $3,500 to fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000, depending on the loan size, right? I think it's important to stress here, Scotty, that the impo a big part of video marketing is is you can't just do one video, send it out, and think you're going to get some no. response or impact. No. Consistently doing video is a big part of how it works. And so what Scotty's talking about as far as time blocking and picking a day so that you, you, you know that every Friday from 2 to 4 o'clock, you that's your video time or from you know 12 to 1 o'clock that's your video time on Fridays right. that way you know you're going to consistently get your face in front of those people who need to remember who you are right on hey Daryl do you have a specific day that you do your uh, your video yeah I, I'm like you Scotty I, I I have blocked out Tuesday and Wednesday evenings in my studio which is my office which is my other bedroom studio D as we call it and then but if I get a good idea and it's outside, you know, it's like, let's go. Do it now before you lose it or forget it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But right I do on. have a block, and then I have, I still edit my own because uh, I can't find anybody who edits like me, which is right. annoying. Right. Still looking. But do not edit. Don't go into that rabbit hole. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to keep you. Like somebody, like uh, Normalina, I hope I said that right, Normalina Martin, she says, what's the best editing software? So a couple, a, I mean, iMovie is awesome. Um, the other one I'm going to share with you is, you know, I guess I, uh, Fiverr is the best one, Fiverr.com, yeah. because somebody will do it for you for five bucks. You literally send them the unedited version, and I'm going to actually show you YouTube today that you can do YouTube.com forward slash editor, and that's a, a, a really super simple one to do to cut the beginning and cut the end to, like, when you're actually clicking, like, start and end on, on your camera. So, um... Just call it the million dollar hour. It's the perception recognition. They never forget you because you're in front of them with video marketing and they look forward to getting your emails. The only video plan that doesn't work is the one that says I didn't do it. That's the only plan that won't work when you're doing video marketing, okay? All right. If you haven't seen this one, it's on agent the the private agent mastermind group. Is it's an amazing, amazing video by Robin Porter and I put the link here. So don't watch it right now because I want to. I want to share some stuff with you. But um, to get a copy of this PowerPoint and what you, you have to watch this video. If Rob, if I, I don't think Robin's on the call right now, but if she is, amazing, amazing video. So um, she kind of talks about herself. She talks about her passion. Talks about working with buyers and sellers, and just I mean, she literally does a really phenomenal job on that. So that's that's a great video. Some video ideas, client testimonials, home buying tips, home selling tips, like. Think about the, the 10 things that home buyers are thinking about when buying a home and just ask them. Say, hey, what are, what, are, what are some of the things that go through your mind when you're thinking about buying a home? And they'll tell you. Well, my fears, my concerns, and address those in a video that you send to them personal. Like you could even make it a personal video. Or you could just do a generic one and say, hey, I, just, I found this video, was thinking of you guys, and thought you might have a question about this or be thinking about this during your time of looking for a home. So if you've had five or ten, if you start keeping track of those, I tell you that coming from you, just be you. Like if you were sitting there saying, if somebody says, and I'm just going to pick a name here, Craig. Hey Craig. Hey, I was thinking about you know um, one of the fears that I have is uh, you know we would like to get a home with a pool, but God, the maintenance on the pool, like what what does that entail? And maybe you do, maybe you go interview a pool guy, right? I mean, this would be a good one. Go interview a pool pool guy and go, you know, could you talk to me about a couple of the pros and cons of owning a pool and a couple of the, like, what kind of expense should I expect? And then, and then you could send that to every home that you showed with the pool to the people looking at the pool saying, hey, I just wanted to throw this out there um, just, just so you were aware of, like, you know, a pool. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know, but I just I interviewed a pool guy, and if you need one, he's a real good friend of mine, and he, he, here's his name and number. Kind of cool, right? Home selling tips, your bio would be a good one. Tip of the week, my personal favorite. I mean, there's literally endless amount of tips. If you go to Pinterest, go to Pinterest and put in tip, tips, tip of the week. Mike found, my way found all kinds of them. There's just literally hundreds and hundreds of different things you could do with a really short, cool video on. Uh, neighborhood tours. I talked about this, I think, a couple classes ago about this new thing coming out. I keep hearing, I hear it like every day, drone, the new drone coming out, right? Amazon's talking about delivering packages with the drone, with the video camera on it. What? And I've seen somebody else do a video with a drone with a, the GoPro video on Think about how cool it would be if you were the person that had the drone with the GoPro and you drove down the street with the GoPro 
into the driveway of this home, and then in through the front door, you, you raised it up and did an aerial view of the whole home and just like kind of went around it. How cool would that be? You think you could share that with people and they would they would get a kick out of that if they're thinking about selling their home? Like, man, I want that to my. I want well, that and my statistically, home, right? statistically, according to YouTube statistics by Google, people are more apt to, to look for videos of a neighborhood and, and video tours as opposed mm -hmm. to single property websites. Yeah, like is there a, is there a dump close by? <laughs> yeah, it's like eighty percent of the videos being searched for are about the community, not so much about a video about the specific house, but the community. So the neighborhood tour idea, great ideas. Great idea, yeah. Community events. I mean, how cool would it be to like record the community event? Like just be there and just interview people and hey, thanks for coming to the event, or just do like photos. I'm going to show you a couple ideas on how to use Animoto. How do you how to how to put all these events together and have really cool pics of everybody? So when you go there, you're just snapping pics of everybody, and people are snapping pics of you, and you're gathering all these pics, and you put it into a, a video format, and then send that out to your sphere. Say, hey, really enjoyed hanging out with everybody at the at the uh, community event the other day. Just wanted to share a little something I did together, uh, you know, f you know, for you guys, a little video to share my appreciation. Weddings, pictures of the the pictures of them, like everybody gets photo album, right? What about a video of all those photos? How cool would that be? How about a birthday party? How about a how about a wedding anniversary or a wedding period or I mean something like how about a bachelorette party? Well, maybe not. Maybe we won't go there. But <laughs> Daryl, five plus five. What's that? Are you asking me? Yeah. Oh, uh, I know. The I see it on your list. Do I do was it. just hoping that you knew what it was. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I was looking at it thinking, oh, I used to do 5 plus 5. No. Thank you. I remember. Hey, no big deal, man. I started. I put you on the I spot there. I don't use it anymore. Okay. Honestly. All right. So forget the 5 plus 5. So the 10 questions, those are the 10 questions that every buyer or seller or, you know, you got your CPA. Maybe you interview a CPA, financial planner, um, cool guy, electrician, um, all, all kinds of different really cool videos you could do. Interview with local businesses. Maybe you got a favorite piece, a pizza place, and you give gift certificates to your favorite pizza place, and you want to just introduce the owner and say, "Hey, when you're in there, tell tell Papa Joe that he, <laughs> that I sent you, or give him this coupon and ask for Papa Joe. He'll come out and say hi, and a really cool guy, right? Fun stuff like that. Mike and I did one outside of an ice cream shop, and, and the tip was uh, with marshmallows. You put marshmallows in the bottom of a cone so the actual cone, when it melts, doesn't run through the bottom. The the marshmallows absorb it. Little bitty stupid stuff like that. Like we're at a, we, you know, I mean, it's really easy to do, right? Okay, Gene Project. One of my favoriteest, favoriteest, and probably if anybody doesn't have this, you're gonna want to get this. So let me just let me just show you how cool this is. So you guys see this little sun over here on the right side of my screen? Can you see that, Paul? Yep. Everybody see that? Okay. So what this does yes. is it puts a, it's it's so that you can screen capture anything on your screen. But you can also record anything on your screen. So you can go to Google and say that here's just a personal touch that you could do. And you say, I want to go to one, two, let's just go to, I'm going to put in my address. I'll do that for her. Um, Autumn Court. So I'm going to put in my address. Say that, I'm, that I'm, I want to give directions from where the, my client's home is to the home that they're going to go look at, right? So I click on the little map button inside Google, and I'm just going to get out of here. And then I want directions to this home. So I'm going to put in where I'm at, 3707 South. And I'm going to put in where I'm at and where I'm going. So I'm going to put in the customer's address, and I'm going to put in where the home is that we're going to look at, okay? This is simulate that, okay? So here's my map. 12 minutes, 7.4 miles is what it's saying on here. And it shows which direction to take, pre preview steps. Whoops, let's go back, exit preview. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Gene. I'm going to grab this little capture button right here. And if you had your vid cam up, you could actually put your vid cam so they would see what you look like and you would have your vid cam in this video. So check this out. So I'm going to highlight this whole thing right here. And so I'm going to capture this screen, and then I have two options. One, I can just capture an image, 
which is, is cool to do. So I'm just going to do that. And then so I can point to, hey, you're, we're starting here, and we're going to here. So I can put a box around it, start here, and then end here. Cool? All right. So now that's a picture. So I could send that picture. So I could say, here's the drawing block, and then I could point to the directions if I wanted to. Um, it's just it's just so cool to be able to do, right? So I'm going to point to the directions, and I could send that to them. That would be a nice gesture, but here's like taking it to another level, okay? I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to do a little video. I'm going to highlight the whole thing again. Instead of take a picture, I'm going to capture a video, which is the very next one. Check this out. So it has, has a little countdown timer, three, two, one. And uh, hey guys, this is Scott Hutchbath. Just wanted to uh, really look forward to meeting you at 5374 Autumn Court tonight at 6 o'clock. Just wanted to give you the directions on how to get there in case you didn't have time to get them yourself after work. So you're going to start out your address, 3707 South Westnage. It looks like it's easiest to just jump on the highway here. So I'll, um, just go straight south on, on uh, Westnage, hit 94, and take 94 all the way to the, it looks like South 9th Street. You're going to get off on 9th Street. You're going to go to the very first road. Let me just blow this up a little bit, um, which is, uh, I can blow that up, I think. Let's see, scroll that in. So it looks like, oh, yeah, West N Avenue. So you're going to turn left on West N Avenue, and then you're going to go down till, until you hit Autumn Glen Road. You're going to turn left there and then come down. Looks like you're going to turn left on, let's just see if we can blow it up a little more. Uh, looks like Autumn Court. You're going to turn left on Autumn Court, and then the house is going to be right there. All right? Look forward to seeing you guys there, um, and uh, if you have any questions before, then just give me a call. And if for some reason you can't make it, please let me know, but otherwise I'll meet you guys there at 6 o'clock tonight. Boom. Finish. Hit finish. Guess what you got? You got a video explaining where they're at, where they're going to, out of the box, just showing them something special, letting them hear your voice. If you had your webcam up, you could have your webcam up sh uh, right there in the thing. You push play. And, hey, guys, it's so within a couple minutes, we can have a recording of a video that you save. All you do is save it. I'm um, just to save time. I'm not going to do it. But please, please, please. I can't really hear the audio on that. It's coming out of Scott's speakers. It's not coming directly. It's not playing directly into the webinar that you guys are hearing, but you can kind of hear the audio in the background of what, what Scott's got. He doesn't have a speaker up to the microphone on that. Uh, but it's full audio and video. There you go. Sorry about that. Did you guys hear that okay? Hey, no, the, the audio, I was kind of explaining to everybody, yeah, the audio we could okay. not hear very well. Um, okay. Because it, it's just, that's coming out of his speak, it's got speakers, but it oh, is got full it, got audio, got it, got it. full it's video, much, whatever okay. you highlight on okay. your screen, and you can manipulate what's inside the capture area. Right on. Right on. Daryl, what would you think of that? Have you ever used that one? Uh, I've just used like a uh, static map. I've never done the video map. Like, ching, ching. <laughs> I know, I know. It's nice. It just lets them hear your voice, kind of like a, you know. And not only that, I mean, if you can put a little call to action and say, hey, I, you know, uh, uh, look, look, look forward to seeing you guys there. If you're, if for some reason you can't make it, please call me. So you've done something of value for them. They will call you, hopefully. I mean, more better chance they will call you because you did something of value than not call you. So. That's just, Jing Project is amazing. We use it every day. Um, I would highly recommend checking that out. So, and it's, uh, the cost is right, per se. It's free. So, whoops. Back that up a little bit. All right. You know, so, Jing Project it is. Sometimes I use my Jing, like, if I want a webinar like this and people are going through bullet points, you can't write shit down. Don't say right. that word, Daryl. Um, and so, I will, like, wait till they get to their last bullet, take a screenshot of that, and it's like, put it in a file that so I can go back and look at it rather than just scribbling the entire time, you know? Yeah. Hey, and somebody's asking, somebody's asking, Mary's asking, is it available on the Mac? I'm actually on the Mac right now. I'm actually on a uh, MacBook Pro, but it, yeah, it's absolutely available for a PC and Mac. It works on, works great on both. All right? Uh, you just send a link. Yeah, so what, so when you click that button, it actually, if it's a video, it takes a little bit of time depending on your computer, but it renders and then it takes, I don't know, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute depending on how long. You can go five minutes in total length, but yeah, it gives you a link. It actually puts it in your, it, it puts it in your, um, let me just show you really quick what I mean by that. So it does the same for photos. So check this out. 
if I wanted to do a video or do a photo of what we're talking about right here, so I'm going to just do a little capture video, and I'm going to capture it. I'm going to draw a couple. I'm going to draw a picture on it, and I'm going to highlight this because I want to make sure that you go there. And I'm going to write something here, demo action. And then I'm going to click this button, share via screencast. If I click that, you'll see over on the right-hand side here, it's up, uploading to screencast. And then within a couple seconds, it goes boom. And hopefully it does it, but sometimes it won't. Yep, there it goes. So it does this little upload to screencast is good. So now that I'm done, I can now paste this into an email. I can paste it into a web browser. But it, it gives me this link right here that so, uh, is actually the picture that I just took a picture of. So when you're setting up or when you're downloading the Jing project, one of the things it does when you finish the download it, <clears throat> excuse me, it requires that you either set up or sign into your Screencast account. It is a free account. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Scotty, I think on the free version, and, and Jing doesn't have a paid version, Screencast does, it saves like two gigabytes of information. I will tell Correct. you guys, I have been using Jing for four years now since I started here. I use it on a daily basis. A lot of the questions that I answer for members on, on teaching things, I'll answer with a Jing video, and I have never come even close to my storage limits. Um, Absolutely. But it's, yeah. it, that's how it works, is when, you're, when you share an image or you share a video, it's actually uploading it to a screencast account and then automatically giving you a URL address automatically on your clipboard. So you simply right click and paste. It's not, you don't need a special software for your email to send it. It doesn't require, they're not watching the video in their email, they're clicking a link from it and it's opening up a web page that plays that video for them. So just right to on. kind of clarify, there was some of the, the that same question or, or those same couple of things were coming up from several people at the same time. So right. it's the screencast account that makes it all work. You're actually sharing a URL address, not the actual video file. Does right that on. make sense? Right on. Yes, it does. And if you go to geneproject.com, it actually there's a little video there that kind of overviews it and talks about these three things right here. And here's the three things that it does. It captures what you see, records what you do, and it's for quick and easy sharing, so it kind of explains which, which one does what, but it has a little, nice little video. So it's jingproject.com, or I guess it goes to techsmith.com forward slash jing. But if you just type in jingproject.com, it'll actually take you to the right place. Hey, Scotty? Right. Yeah? I found that uh, for videos, sharing to screencast is way, they have the people who get it down line, it, it's way easier for them to view the video. Absolutely. And for pictures, I usually save them on my hard drive. That's that's mm -hmm, what I can mm -hmm. do with less, right on, uh, right on. less interference. Well, I mean, I built this. I built this whole PowerPoint with with Jing Project. So this picture right here is from me capturing the. I go to JingProject.com, capture the image, and then I put that in into PowerPoint, which is pretty cool. So does anybody really watch? I, I had no idea the, the like what this was going to do, but I recorded a uh, – this is stuff that people – I mean, everybody has an iPhone or a Droid, right? I mean, everybody on this call. Is there anybody on this call that does not have an iPhone or a Droid? I mean, that would be kind of hard to believe, right? One or two people maybe. There's a lot of people on this call. So I did a video, where's my Droid or iPhone? You will love this. I had 1,600 views. I don't get it, right? So what it does is, you know how when you have your phone on vibrate? There's this special app you download. I don't even remember what it is. It was so long ago. But and it still works. If I, from somebody else's phone, call a number that I, pro, that I get with this app or I, I text it or something, there's something funny that, I, that you do to it. I have to watch the video to figure it out. But it actually would turn your volume all the way up on your phone so you could hear it ring when you're looking for it. I thought that was pretty cool. Of course, where's my iPhone? iPhone. What's, yeah, where's my iPhone? Yeah, it's called Where's yeah. My iPhone. So, and where's my um, iPhone? There's, yeah. I mean, there's some crazy cool stuff. I mean, there's, uh, of course, it's it's progressed. But I'm just saying, when I mean, think about this. How many apps are there for a phone, both Droid or iPhone? How many apps is there? Any any, any guess? A zillion. A zillion. You could do a tip of the week video on your iPhone or Droid on a on a cool app of the the. Here's what I got. Here's how it's going to benefit you. Here's what you need to do next, which is call me if you're looking to buy or sell a home literally every week for the rest of your life and probably never run out of apps. 
and it's something that people carry with them 24-7. So if they ever download one of the apps, who are they going to think about if they use it? You. Who are they going to talk about with their friends going, I love this app, you have to check this out. My friend Scott gave it to me, or my friend Daryl gave it to me. Who's Daryl? Oh, he's, a real, he's my real estate agent. That's how people talk. That's how friends and tell their friends, family, and coworkers. So that's cool stuff. Here's one that did before she left. Yeah. That that last video. Okay, you're sitting yep. at your desk. Did you yeah. use any special lighting or anything at your office? Zero. Nothing. Okay, so you set a camera up and you talked into it and you put yep. a video up and you got 1,600 views. So how long did that yeah. take you? Uh, the well, the video is two minutes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes, you use no special lighting, no special no. camera, and no. right at your desk. R that right on my desk. Easy. I found out if you set, you know how people sit across from your desk? If you set the camera right on the other side of your desk with the tripod and you talk into it, it's about, it, it's a really good distance. and You don't have to zoom. I, I was using one of those, um, oh, God, what was it, um, that tennis player. Do you remember what that was, Paul, those cameras that everybody had at the time? There's a tennis player with the white dog jumping up and down. Yeah, uh, wasn't I don't that the what that was. Uh, SD something something SJ I don't know whatever but it was a, it was a hundred like Kodak ZI8 is another one a really good uh, camera to use Kodak ZI it's actually Kodak ZI10. It's actually a Z16 one. Like at this Kodak point. It, it's what? It's a Z16 at this point. They 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 keep changing up on it. It's the Play Touch Kodak Play Touch. Is is a good option. It's like 120 to 150 bucks, depending on where you get it from. Um, but I will tell you, the best phone you could pro possibly get is your smartphone. If it's newer the than the last two yeah, years, smartphone works great. Absolutely. You're getting 720p or 1080p, which is yeah. as good a quality if you were watching it on your flat screen television at home. No question. Yeah. No question. Your yeah. iPhone. If you I mean, everybody has a camera on their phone right here, use it. I mean, that in, there's the, there's this little cool gadget called the swivel. The um, do you remember the exact name of that? The swivel. It's no, no for, e. It's it's Mr. Uh, swivel. E L. Yeah. Right. Uh, nope. It. Is it S I? No e oh yeah, it's S I V L, right? L. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, this is way cool. So so what this does? This is so cool. I wish I had it to show you. So what it does is you put your iPhone in it. And see this little gadget right here? Let me just click on it. Maybe it'll give me a better picture. So this little gadget right here is a... It's a video actually, there, Scotty. Oh, there is? Video on the bottom left. Or right bottom left, left, left. left. Right there, left. Video, right below the Oh, picture. video right here. So, so, so what it does is it actually, it actually um, tracks your... Here, let me see what it says here. Yeah, it's a little slow. So, so, what, so what this does is it actually lets you... Put your phone on the swivel, and then this little piece is on you, and it actually, if you move, it moves with you and follows you. Very, very, very cool piece of merchandise there. And it used, works on every phone. And, looks like 150 370 bucks somewhere in there. So you yeah. could be in a house, right? You could be in a house, in a kitchen, move over, like it would follow you all the way around to the living room if you had that piece with you, and you wouldn't have to touch the camera. You could do it by yourself. So I just wanted to show that with you. All right? Very, very cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, did that? Did that? Um, this is like Vicky did this. So like, if you get a new listing, this is a minute and forty seconds. I'll I'll make sure you guys get the links to this. So what it is if you before you go to a listing, you can create this with pictures. After you go to a listing, you can create this with pictures. It's really cool. That's just one idea. Um, there's four things that must be part of a video: interest and desire. Bonding and trust, which you're going to have if you do the videos. Trust me on that. Free cool stuff. Phone apps. Maybe kids eat free on Thursdays at uh, Pizza Joe's. Um, and call to action. Call to action. Simply, hey, if you're thinking about buying a home or hear of anybody, your friends, family, coworkers, thinking about buying a home, just give us a call. We'd be more than happy to work with you and take care of you like we did when we found your home. Whatever the call to action is. Simple, sweet, to the point. But you always got to have these four. Interest and desire is having fun, making somebody smile and laugh and like, what is it that people are talking about right now? Is there a viral video out? Is there some new technology piece that people are talking about? Um, make it interesting and have, have and people will watch it. <clears throat> you guys seen this video? Who has, who, is there anybody on this call that have not seen this video? Charlie bit my finger. Anybody on this? 
call that has not seen this video, usually about half of the people have not seen this video. Guys, check this out. Every time I do this presentation, there's 670 million views on this thing, all right? 670 million views on this thing. So I've, I, every time I go to uh, do a video presentation, I bring this up, and I'm like, half of the room says, haven't seen it. I'm like, so 670 million people have seen this. Half of the room hasn't seen it. If I was to, how many people on this call have seen it more than once, like watched it 10 times? Okay, like there's a ton of people. There's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a ton of people that have not seen this video. Is that crazy? So, so when I, the reason I'm bringing this up is what you don't want to do is overthink something. So if you want to send a video out, and one of these days we're going to do a, uh, a, a what we call a sandwich video, present like a sandwich video class. We're going to show you how to put a sandwich video together. You can't overthink it. There's tons of people that haven't seen this video. So if you have an intro to a video that says, oh, my God, here's your line. Oh, my God, this is so funny. You have to check this out. And then you put this piece in there. And then you have an exit video of call to action. Hey, give me a call. If it wasn't that funny. Give me a call if you're looking to buy or sell a home. Take care. Have a good day. See you next week. That's it. So they're going to take this video because it's funny and forward it to their friends, family, coworkers. It's hilarious. And they, like, you get recognition because you're the one that sent it to them. All right? Where in the world is, by far, is one of my favorite strategies. So you're standing in front of a water tower, okay? And, you're, and you can see the water tower behind you, and it says Sturgis, Michigan. And you go, guess where I'm at, and I, I will give the first three people that, that guess two free movie passes to the local movie theater. Have some fun with it, right? Obviously, it's very obvious where you're at, so... Um, it's really easy. It's just a lot of fun to have that. So, so when movie tickets, invite referral partners to video market with you. CPAs, financial planners, pool guys, electricians, all kinds of different people that have to do with homes. Um, make it fun. Here's one happy birthday video. So Animoto is one of my favorite by far, one of my favorite systems. You have to go check it out. We're going to do some classes on Animoto. We're going to do one on editing video too and stuff like that. But Animoto is free. And it allows you to take photos. Now, we took this photo. This, this lady had a happy birthday. Um, and we did a happy birthday video for her and took pictures off of her Facebook page. Right? Everybody lives through their Facebook. They put pictures of where they've been, their kids, their birthdays, events, everything. How cool would it be to send one of your close friends or one of your past clients a happy birthday video pulling stuff off of their Facebook page putting it into a video format, you don't even have to be in the video, and sending it to them something of value. Pretty cool, right? That's great. Take pictures are already there. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're already there. So how, how about a new baby? Like, like um, if your, your clients just had a new baby, you know, last week we talked about sending them a card. How about a video wishing them congratulations with a video of a baby? Have you guys seen this baby ripping paper? So we added this to our video and said, hey, you know, Grandma was here, and this is a cute little photo. Of course, there's, I just took two cute photos from the actual video that, that Vicky did, but we're going to give you the link to this video. Um, here it is, so you can go check it out. But it's just different ideas of a new baby, new graduation, new wedding. Um, just, uh, there's all kinds of reasons to celebrate stuff, and if you put it in video format, it's, just, it's perceived like so much higher than just a happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? All right, what works best? Blogging, YouTube, Facebook is by far my favorite. YouTube is by far, like, you, I, would, I would do two, one of two things. One, put it on YouTube and then on your blog and then on Facebook, and then you're covering three different things. So first I would upload it to YouTube, <clears throat> post it on my blog if you have one, take the link to the blog post, and paste that on Facebook. All right? You get better um, Google juice if you take, rather than using your YouTube URL, if you, like, just like you said, Scott, you post it to your blog, and then you use your URL off of mybrand.com, and you put right that on. on Facebook. It's a way better juice. So what, so what he's saying is you get better SEO, search engine optimization. If you have a, if, you're saying if you have a blog, right? If you have yeah. a blog. <clears throat> right on. Okay, so blogging, a couple pros and cons. Pros, free and easy, can personalize your page, no advertising, cool widgets, only you can post. You have to drive traffic to it, you have to keep up with it, doesn't have a video counter. 
Some do, some don't. You can have it. If it's in YouTube, of course it would. So marketing animals. So this is one that, of a blog post that we did. Blog does show all your post past videos, which is kind of cool. So it does have a way to show all your past videos. So people maybe, maybe I don't like this one, but maybe that title interests me or like the secret to listing ex, uh, list expired listings. So that's a little video like some might, you know, so the, the, the secret to buying a home in Napa Valley, whatever. YouTube, great SEO, search engine optimization, Google owns it, slow way to build lists massive audience, validates who you are, as seen on, so how many times have you seen the, the billboard say, as seen on YouTube, right? Charlie bit my finger, free, it's free, counts your views, shows where they come from, how, when they, how, long they, how long they actually watch the video, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the cons, this is huge, and I have a way around this. So competitors can advertise on it, which means when you put a video on YouTube, on the right-hand side, it's going to have other related videos to it, okay? Um, have to drive traffic to it. So check this out. So here's the mortgage broker, or if you're a real estate agent, you're going to have other real estate agents over on the right-hand side. Here's a... Oh, it is? Okay. Paul, are you there? What's going on? Is my, I guess I'm having audio issues a little bit. No, no, no you're I'm fine. not. Yeah, you're good, brother. You're good? good? Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So... Guys, this is so cool. So Quiet Oob, this is a little secret for you. Quiet Oob is a way to take a YouTube video. Watch this. I'm just going to show you because it's so cool. So uh, first off, let me just go to Quiet Oob, Q-U-I-E-T-U-B-E.com. This is my little secret sauce of the day. So go to Quiet Oob. So this is what comes up when you go to Quiet Oob, Q-U-I-E-T-U-B-E. And this little box is right here. So what you want to do is you want to grab this and you want to drag it up into your toolbar. See that? So I just went and I dragged it up there. And when I do it, it's going to sit right there. Have you seen this, Daryl? Yes. Use it. YouTube. Go to YouTube. I'm going to grab a video. So video manager. I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab Charlie bit my finger video, and I don't want to like or, or here's the agent master mind video you guys might have seen. <coughs> so when I show this video, you see all kinds of other stuff, and I might not want this other stuff on the side like this because it takes away from. I don't know about you, but if I see another title, if I'm trying to watch this video and I see another title that maybe catches my eye, Rihanna talks to Eminem or how, how to take portraits with one flash or like you just don't know what's going to catch your eye. So when I send it out, I don't want p other people to get sidetracked. I want them to watch my video, right? I want to have the best chance of them watching my video, right? How about that? So when I'm here, if I click Quiet Oob, what it does is it takes the actual video and puts it on a single format by itself on a special link with a little advertising. I'd rather have the advertising down here than I would all of the videos on the right and, and left-hand side. And now I copy this link and send that link out to my database. So when they click on it, they only see my video and one little piece of advertising at the bottom. Is that pretty cool? Much cleaner. Absolutely awesome. You can actually change awesome. the background if you want. There's a black background. Uh, you can go back to the original page. Um, get a short link if you want to shorten the link up, whatever. But um, it's just it's just way cool to get rid of the other videos on that page. You can do that same thing with your embed code as well by unchecking the show related videos box and then checking the enable privacy enhanced mode. So when you go into your share and your embed code, Scotty, do you know how to do that under share? You're actually breaking up a little bit, buddy. Oh, am I? Sorry about that. Yeah. I hear Sorry. you. Fine. Is it just me? Yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So you can, it's there's not there's another way to do it as well, is what you're saying? Yeah, well, no, if you're embedding the, if you're going to embed the video, you can also make sure that people don't see the related well, videos see the, with the it. other videos. Yeah, there's a, a, a checkbox that it. comes up automatically that is already okay, cool. checked to show related videos. You simply uncheck that box and you're good to go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. So Facebook pros, free, easy, built-in traffic cross-market by posting links to your other accounts. Easy to share. It's worth the traffic. Like, here's what I say. is People are already on Facebook, as we proved, three to four hours a day, two to three hours a day at most. I mean, I mean a lot. So 
if you're going to not put it there, you, I think you're missing the boat. So I think, even if it's on your blog or YouTube, I think you have to get it to, to, to Facebook. People don't like to leave Facebook. They like to hang out there, and they have a better chance of watching your video. But more importantly, it's really not about watching the video. It's remembering who you are and what you do for a living. That's the bottom line. No video counter. I, I don't personally care about video counter um, unless it's in YouTube. It has a time limit, but there's plenty of time. Don't worry about that. Here's a cool part about putting your video on YouTube or on uh, Facebook from YouTube. If it's on your business page, you can boost. You can actually promote your post so it shows up in other people's feeds of your friends. So like it's kind of like paying to show up all over the place. We have seen thousands of views with a very limited, like very little amount of funds, like five bucks, ten bucks, gets you a ton of ton of views. You just don't know who which one of your friends will see your post, forward it to one of their friends who just mentioned that they're thinking about buying or selling a home. All, all kinds of crazy stuff there. So that's what I want to show you. So how to record your videos? Webcam, we talked about that. Digital camera, regular camcorder, Kodak DI10. I think he's, I think Paul said it's 15 now. Um, iPhone, iPad, I'm telling you, those are awesome. And then, of course, you got your flip camera, so a bunch of different cameras to use. I guess the big thing is just pick one and start doing it. Gene Project, we talked about that. Um, editing your software, like editing software, Camtasia, is a great one to edit it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now is here's the Camtasia. Adobe Premiere Elements is great for PC, and iMovie is good for Mac, but I would absolutely go with Fiverr. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. Once you do a video, don't spend time on editing stuff. I wouldn't even spend the money because you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. iMovie comes with Mac, but Gene Project is 60, 70, 80 bucks. Premiere Elements, you mean? Absolutely tr What's that? Adobe Premiere Elements, you mean, is, is like yeah, 70 Adobe bucks. Yeah, Adobe Premiere Elements, yeah, right, yeah. right. And it's, it's a, 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 I use it, and I use it quite often, but I'm going to tell you there is a serious learning curve with it. There is a serious learning curve. So if, if you go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, put in edit video, I will edit video for you in just a few hours. There you go. I will edit video and provide an HD professional video editing and sound. I will convert, combine, and edit video and audio. I will edit video professionally and make changes as, as in it as, as per you. Five bucks. If you spend $70, you're going to spend so much time. Your time is money. So do the video, get on here, submit it to them, and say, hey, just check it out. For five bucks, I mean, what, you have nothing to lose. When it comes back, you're going to be amazed and blown away. You're like, why have I waited so long to do video marketing? Really cool stuff. I will edit your video. I will be a spokesperson in a regular edit video. I will combine edit videos, photos. I will edit video into a 15-second movie for Instagram or Facebook. So there's not a shortage of people that do it for five bucks. If you find a good one, just keep sending the same one to him once a week. Boom, boom, boom. It's the price of a. It's less than the price of a mocha at Big Beast today or Starbucks. All right. Yeah. This is where this is where people will go. Okay, I shot a video. Awesome. And then try to upload it, and then try to get the software to work, and then go. Oh, forget it. I can't do this. Right on. This is, that right is on. exactly where they will stop. And Fiverr yes. totally solves that problem. Yep. Record with your camera, put your memory card in, upload it to Dropbox or Box.com or your hard drive, email it to them, depending on how long the video is, um, just get it to them. You can upload it right into Fiverr so we can have it. Highly recommend not doing the software and letting these guys do it. I well, what I don't want you to do is not send a video out because you couldn't figure out the editing software. Okay. Google.com, how long should the, um, so Fiverr, uh, let's see, how long should the videos be? This is really important. One to three minutes. They say the drop-off starts about 45 seconds into the video, and the biggest drop-off is uh, a minute and 48 seconds or something like that. So one to three minutes. If you got something cool and, like, interesting, people will stick, but I'm just telling you, <laughs> if, they see, if they see that your, your video is five minutes, they won't watch it. Kind of like I did when, with, with Daryl. It's like five minutes. Oh, crap, I don't have five minutes. So the same thing with during their day. I don't want to take five minutes. So I'll take 30 seconds all day long. But man, if it gets over two minutes, I, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta make a decision in my mind whether I'm gonna watch this video or not. Here's what I got. Here's how it's gonna benefit you. Here's what I want to do next. All right. Get the word out. Emails, signature lines, referral partners, flyers, other people's newsletters. Invite partners to record with you and send to their list. 
quite on your website, your Facebook, and wherever else you can think of. Tattoos, whatever, all of it. All of it, all of it. Thank what to do you. now? Mix it up. Some personal, some work, some funny, some serious. Start today. Do not be afraid. You, I mean, you do go to the grocery store, right? You walk into the grocery store, and you check out, and you talk to the person at the, at the counter. You give them your money. You have a conversation with them, right? It's the same thing as jumping in front of the video. It, it's just overcoming that fear of that little darn red light looking at you, going, what are you going to say to me now? What are you going to, you know, it's just like we freeze and we mouth dries out and all that stuff. Once you, once you get over that fear, it's, it's kind of like just getting in your car and starting it. It's the same old thing. Day, I mean, it's just you've got to get over that fear of, like, this is what I look like. This is what my hair looks like today. Oh, my God, I've got to look a, a little heavy, a little fat, a little thin, little, like, like I, my face is red, my face is white. My, I mean, who cares? That's how you look. It's just how it is. So get over that part. Don't be afraid. You're doing it for your family. You're doing it for success. You're doing it to stand out. You're doing it for the perception of who you are. You're elevating who you are. In your, in, in your, uh, so just remember this. Interest and desire, bonding and trust, free samples, and call to action. All right? So real quick, what do we got? A couple minutes? I want to show you something really cool. So YouTube has its own editor if you really want to play with this. <clears throat> I'm going to show you. This is the editor. All right? I'm going to clear it like I have nothing here. I was playing with it last night. So here's my videos that I have in my YouTube channel. So when you go to YouTube Editor and you're logged into YouTube, it's going to have your videos that you did. So here's Charlie Bit My Finger. Here's the one I did last night sitting at the kitchen table. wanted to share with you guys like a, a video that had to do with the sandwich video. So all I do is drag this thing down to where it says, see where it says drag videos here? Isn't that pretty cool? Drag videos here. Boom. There's a little bar here that lets you expand or contract the video so you can see which part you want to cut, which part you don't want to cut. Now, here's the cool part. See the timer right here? I'm going to give you a little heads up. This is how to cut and not cut. If you hold your mouse over it, see the little scissors that pops up? Can you see that okay, Paul? Yeah. Left clicking, right clicking, or just scissors. hovering over it? You're just hovering? Yeah, just hovering over it. Okay. All I do is hover over it. I'm not going to click on it right now because I want to, I want to show you something. So see how I'm not sitting at the table on that, on that part right there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me just do something really quick here. You can expand right, the timeline. So it looks like a little bit as well. What's that? You can expand the timeline. It looks like a little bit as well down there. Yeah. yeah. You want to zoom, zoom in? There you go. So see how I'm not sitting at the table? And I don't know how far I need to go. I know it's right in here somewhere, probably right here. But if I play this video and watch the timer, it'll tell me where I actually sit down and start talking. So watch. I'm going to play this really quick. It's seven seconds just because I know. So it sees me sitting down at the table, getting ready to start my video. So at seven seconds, I start my video, right? So right there is at nine. So if I go back to seven, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the scissors. I'm going to go back to seven. Right there, seven seconds. I'm going to cut, and I'm going to go right to that seven seconds. So right... Uh, <clears throat> right there, see the seven seconds down below? And then what it's going to do is it actually cut that part of the video. So I'm going to cut that. And now I'm sitting at the table. So I cut the beginning, and then I can cut the end if I want. So here's now if I started, I'm at the table. <clears throat> so I just cut out the starting of the video, and I can cut out pieces of the video if I want to. I can edit out mistakes if I want to. All I do is start and stop wherever I want it, wherever I want to cut that, and all I do is click the scissors. Now, here's the other cool part. Say that I wanted to bring in another video with it. Say that I wanted to bring in Charlie Bit My Finger. All I do is drag that down with it. Right on. There's Charlie Bit My Finger. So if I was to publish these together, it would go from this video to that video automatically. <clears throat> I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. So if you want to play around with any editing this weekend, <clears throat> this would be. It, there's no cost to like using these. And it's really easy to... like cut the beginning, cut the end, and now i got a, a professional video that I saved inside YouTube. Pretty cool, right? So say that I wanted to cut, I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to drag it to right here, and I'm going to just cut that, and I'm going to cut all this and bring this in. Now, if I go all the way to the end, it's going to automatically go from my video to the Charlie Bit My Finger video. And then if I publish these together, 
There's all kinds of different stuff I can do, but check this out. So I can have uh, animations. I can have crossfade. So if I drag crossfade down in the middle of these two, see that? Watch this. So it's amazing software. It's free. And it's, it's actually pretty, it takes a little bit of time, but now the crossfade. Now I just really slowly fade in. Isn't that cool? Ooh, fancy. Isn't that nice? Yeah, a lot of this is new. And, and uh, yeah. Susan's asking, what program is that? Susan, that, that's YouTube. That's right inside that's YouTube. of YouTube, guys. It's a YouTube editor. This is 100% free, 100% free. Yeah, they really upgraded this. They have. They, they've, they've done a great job. If you want to add music, so I think it's, uh, there's some uh, clouds to see. What's this one? No, that's not it. Oh, here's music right here. So if I want to add music to it, like I want to add music, so let's drag audio here. So I'll just find, I could play the music right here if I want to. So if I want to add music to it right here, I could just drag that down into the drag to audio. Now it's going to drag that. Now I don't want all that, so I'm just going to maybe do the start of it. There's that. Now I got audio. I got. And Bob's asking the best question I've seen so far, Scotty. Yeah. Bob says again, should we spend our time even using this or just send it no. out to Fiverr? No, Fiverr. but I see. I know. The short I know answer is Fiverr.com. Take the time and want to edit their videos. I'm telling you, it's not the best spent time. But if you're like me and you're in a polar vortex with 20 below zero and it's snowing out. You might want to find something to do, so I just thought I would show you. <laughs> if you if you have nothing else to do and you've watched every single movie, and I'm talking about myself here, if you watched every single movie and every single series on planet Earth the last four months because of this polar vortex, you might find you want something fun to do, which for me this is fun. You know, Daryl and I have no idea what that feels like, right? Yeah, like a lot of you guys have no idea what that feels like. So, um, Bates Motel is a great series, by the way. If you want to get involved in Bates Motel, it's a great movie. So, I'm just saying. But this is the stuff that I sit around and learn, and it's kind of fun when you don't have to pay any money to download it. It's right there inside. It pulls. Now, here's the cool part. Whatever you can actually upload a video. Let me just show you this really quick. You can upload a video into YouTube and make it so it's not. Um, like, like, say, Charlie bit my finger, okay? So this one's the actual, uh, in, in my, in my, um, what do I want to say? In my YouTube channel. So, and I want to edit this thing, and I, I want to make sure that it's not um, public. See how it's got a, see how it's got a lock to it? So you can't get to this video because I have it locked and it's private. So you can make your, when you upload a video to YouTube, you can make it private just by um, clicking this little setting over here it says privacy settings so like you don't want anybody to see it if you have followers you, they won't see it so you can you can make it before it's done rendering just make it see how it, it defaults to public but if you go over here and click private no one will see it then you can go in and edit your videos which if you look over on the right hand side it says creation tools you can also find the video editor there as well so if I click on video editor, then it pulls up my videos. So now I can edit my videos and have them done before I actually publish it to the world and have it public. All right. This is really great when if you're like at a convention or something and you're and you want you do a video downstairs and you're up in your room and you don't have your software because you got your laptop. I mean, you there can you, just, go. you know do a little tiny video and shoot it out in your hotel room if you're traveling. Yeah. Amen. So. Um, that's what I got, guys. Uh, if you again, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, we are at. Uh, and if there's any questions, Paul, more than more than happy to answer those. But uh, I hope you guys got a little tidbit out of this. We're going to do more of the how to do it. I just wanted to give you the basics and show you, like, guys, overcome the fear. Open up your phone. Click on the camera. And I know the iPhones and Droids both have a camera looking at you, so it's really easy to uh, to take those. Um, videos of yourself, have somebody hold it. When you're doing it on your iPhone or Droid, make sure you turn it. You'll notice that when he took, uh, this was almost a huge disaster for Ellen, when they took this picture, um, where is it at, right? So when they took this picture, Ellen had her phone turned on an angle, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and thank God, uh, I think it's Bradley there, he turned it sideways so they could get a big view. When you're doing the video, make sure you, you do it so it's sideways, and it'll make it'll look good inside YouTube. Otherwise, it'll have be really narrow. So just have someone hold it for you. All right. Yeah. All right, everybody. Appreciate you guys.
guys, Paul, any final I, questions? I, I, there's uh, several about SEO, how you get them to the front page of Google once you do this and that. Uh, as you know, is a class in and of itself. A lot of people Everybody. are saying, hey, great stuff today, guys. How can I see this again? Um, to get a copy of today's webinar and the PowerPoint, just g contact the loan professional who invited you today. They'll be able to hook you up with that. Easy peasy. Um, yeah, man. So we may, Scotty, we may need to do some follow-up video. Looks like a very, very hot topic. A lot of questions, uh, you know, about the delivery and about search engine optimization. So maybe that's absolutely, our next, uh, our next dive yeah. into video marketing. Yeah, okay, so next step. So we will do that. The next two weeks, we have a special guest that I'm going to be announcing later this week, probably tomorrow or the next day. Um, you're not going to want to miss the next two weeks class. I'm just telling you right now, you're not going to want to miss him. Really, really good guy. Um, I'll be, I'll be blowing the blowing the secret here in a couple days. Um, here's what I want you to do. Grab your phone, record a video, upload it to YouTube, or send it to Fiverr, have them edit it, whatever, whatever, but get something out there. I would love, love, love to see your first video on facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. And just know, if you post it in that group, no, what, nobody else will see it except for the people in the group. So it's not like your friends or family or coworkers are going to see it. Only we will see it. And just do it. Just Get out of your comfort zone and do it, okay? And interested to see who our implementers are in the group today. Amen. We've got a large Amen. group today, so I'm really excited to see who our implementers are. So after the next two weeks, let's do a, um, let's do a how to. I'm going to have Vicky on to do an Animoto class for us, how to use Animoto. I think you guys will love that. So we'll do that in three weeks, and then four weeks after that, we'll do a SEO class. How about that, Paul? You got it, man. That'll give me enough All time right, to bro. research and find out if Google's changed on me again. Sounds every good. Week. <laughs> All right, every week. All right, thanks, everybody. Daryl, man, I appreciate you, brother, and I will make sure that you get added to this uh, PowerPoint so that people can see your videos as well. And I would highly recommend going to follow Daryl on his video, uh, Daryl Palmer. Uh, he does some amazing, amazing videos, has a lot of fun with it. It definitely will make you laugh and, and get you, expire, you know, inspired. So. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Thanks for joining us on Agent Mastermind. See you right here, same time, same place next week. Have a great, safe, and exciting weekend. Bye-bye. Awesome. Be organized.